Okay, so we got a quick email request about uh, how do you get your TEX file, the .TEX file, off of uh, ShareLaTeX. And so I've got ShareLaTeX up over here, and I've got my templates over here. I'm going to actually go over here and uh, download that uh, official LaTeX document. There it is. I'm going to save that file uh, right there always exists because I had it downloaded once and I'll open that guy up now I can open this up in a number of different places so um, right now if I uh, want to show it in the finder um, I can see that here's that file I'm gonna open it with any number of different things uh, but I want to give you an example here of that of using one of the recommended text editors. So Text Wrangler was the text editor that I recommended for the Mac. Uh, remember Notepad++ was the text editor that I recommended for the PC. And I've opened the file and there it is and I can actually go Control all copy go over to Share LaTeX where I start a new blank project uh, or call essay, sure and it creates and it's already going to have text in here which I can highlight delete and then from what I've already copied into my clipboard that entire document I can recompile it and I'm off and running right and then I could make some changes you know writing assignment and recompile that now the question was, okay, now that I've changed this, it clearly says writing assignment up at the top. How do I download that? And one of the one of the, the contributors to the forum suggested downloading the entire zip file here. I go download. Uh, I can get the PDF, or I could uh, download the project over here. But what I actually suggest is for you to remember that inside of this realm, inside of this box where I have the number lines, that is a text editor those are only ASCII uh, characters so that you're not going to get HTML markup it's just going to be straight ASCII so I can copy that I can do control A control C to copy it and then I can open up an, a blank uh, file inside of something like text wrangler inside of a text editor not Microsoft Word inside of a text editor paste it and there I have pasted the entire thing. It looks really boring. And I can go save as. And I'm going to save it as essay. And not as txt. I'm going to inform the text editor that this is a LaTeX file by using the .tex. I hit save. And bam, all of a sudden, all of those normally black comments, markups, become blue. And that's because you've now told the text editor that this is a, a tech file. And so if I were to go save as again and make a comparison and, and save it as txt, watch what happens. I do that, all of a sudden I lose all of the, the coloration that was with the ASCII characters. It's still just plain text, but by saving it correctly as a tex file, I can now I have informed the text editor that I'm editing my file in LaTeX and uh, that is a, a really easy way to transfer materials from share LaTeX over to a text editor that makes it very easy to save right on your desktop as a text as a TEX file okay hope that helps out uh, it's just quick and easy way and it, and the nice thing here is it's starting to teach you about the value of a real text editor. Of course, I could also bring up TextMaker. TextMaker is the, uh, is of course, the um, software that I recommended as a front end for those of you who want to install. I hit New. I've got a new document here. I've still got that uh, content in inside of the buffer for my copy and paste. There's the file. I go over here to Save As. I save it as SA2. Let's just save it on my desktop for the moment. Right? And there it is again. Same file popped up right over here. So I'm ready to go. Okay?
Thanks so much. Talk to you later.